Hello guys, welcome to Code Studio. This is our fourth session in end-to-end -end machine learning project 2 playlist where we will discuss about how to deploy machine learning model in a Heroku cloud platform. In previous session, we have discussed how to set up a flash project and how to de de develop a UI page for a machine learning prediction. You can check previous session by clicking on I button. Okay. To deploy a machine learning model in a Heroku cloud platform, we have to perform a following task. So first two steps are like, you know, building a or train the uh, machine learning model and save it as a pickle file and then after create a web application for a prediction on input entries okay using a flash project these two steps we have already performed in the previous sessions okay so you can check that so before going through the uh, point number three uh, let us understand what is Heroku cloud platform okay so Heroku is a platform as a service that means it's a pass platform that enables developers to build run and operate application entirely on a cloud rather than doing local on our local machine okay now come to the point number three that is configure the proc file and requirement.txt in the flash project basically when you plan to deploy a machine learning model okay web and web application in a Heroku cloud platform these two files are you know first entry files okay so requirement.txt so basically this is the first entry point for a program it will install the dependencies which are required to run your code Okay, requirement.txt will tell Heroku that this project will require all these libraries to successfully run the application. Proc file. Heroku requires a proc file to be present in your, you know, in your app root directory. Okay, it will tell the Heroku how to run the application. Okay, so make sure it is a simple file with no extension. While building a proc file, we will see, you know, what command to be uh, used to run our application. Okay, now the fourth point is, you know, once your the project development is completed, you have to commit your code in a GitHub repository. Then fifth point, connect the Heroku cloud platform and link to the your GitHub repository. Okay. Then sixth point, you have you'll have to you know deploy the code from you know uh, GitHub repository into the Heroku cloud. Yeah, that's it. Then your app will be ready to test. So here is my uh, project uh, you know Flash project. Okay. So which consists of you know the models folder where I have saved my uh, the model dot uh, you know pickle file and the columns dot JSON. And the static where I have uploaded my images, and then template where I have uploaded the index.html file. Okay, so and this is my main that is my Flask application file. Okay, where I have added two routes that is, first one is the other home route. Okay, to call the index page, and the second one is you know the predict route. Okay, whenever user click on the predict button, this route will get invoked, and then associated method will get invoked. Okay, and because it's a post method, I'll okay, I'll get all these uh, form elements. Okay, and I'll I'll calling the uh, custom method. To get the predicted output okay and here is the uh, custom method here's the code for that okay where, where you know we're calling our uh, model and the, by using the model dot predict method we're getting the predicted output and we're returning that okay and the same output we are returning back to the index.html file so guys to more uh, to know more about this uh, complete uh, you know the development please check my end-to-end uh, -end, uh, you know machine learning play, uh, project playlist too okay where we have discussed you know the eta and the, all these uh, developments in details once you're done with you know this flask application file now our most important files are these two okay so the requirement.txt okay which contains all the libraries required for this particular project okay and the final one is the proc file okay which tells Heroku how to run the our application so basically we're trying to run the web process okay using guineacon okay and here is the command this is our uh, flask application that is our my main module right then colon and that is my app app is nothing but my flask object or flask application okay so you have to prepare this proc file also when we when we we plan to deploy this code into the flask uh, I mean into uh, heroku cloud platform once you, uh, you're done with you know all this configuration at your project level okay then you can you know upload this complete uh, code bundle into your uh, github repository okay so here is my github repository where i have uploaded all the code files okay now to deploy this code into the Heroku cloud platform, you have to log in, you know, the Heroku.com. Okay. Once you log in, you need to create a, you know, application from this navigation. Give the name. Okay. Any name. Okay. Click on uh, create app. So we have a different, a different option, uh, option to, you know, deploy our code. So in our, in this requirement, we are going to connect through, you know, deploy our code from the GitHub okay so let us connect the github repository so i have connected to my github repository okay now you need to uh, connect with this uh, branch 
So let us check. So connect now. So it's been connected. To deploy code from you know the GitHub to uh, the cloud, you know Heroku Cloud, we have two options. One is an automatic deploy. So whenever you do some changes at the GitHub, automatically those changes will get reflected at the Heroku Cloud platform. Okay, and the another one is a manual deploy. So uh, in this case, I'm going to select the manual option. Okay, so just click on Deploy Branch. It takes some time and it'll you know start uh, installing all those you know libraries from the requirement.txt file. You can see the messages. So it is installing all these libraries so once it is completed you will get the URL like this okay and also if there is an issue you can see from this log okay now let us click on view button now you can see my application is up and running now so we can test it now let us test this application See, it is working. Now I can see the predicted value for this. So that's all guys. I hope you understand how to uh, deploy the ML model in a Heroku Cloud platform. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel.